Good afternoon, we are at the private burial ground for Mr. Clancy Sylvester Dick. Can someone just tell me whether or not they can see clearly or if we are on? Oh, 
So they are coming down now. Funeral arrangement entrusted to Linus to funeral home. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not, we all shall not sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 
for this corrupt people must put on in corruption and this mortal must put on immortality. But when this corrupt people shall have put on in corruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be unto God who giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome, my beloved brethren. Be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Where death has once more invaded our ranks and removed from the works of life, our beloved brother fancy. The soul having departed to dwell in the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns. It has become our sad duty to commit him to the ground, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, earth to earth, waiting for the resurrection of our Lord at the last day. Father, we thank you. We have done our best. We have come as far as mortal feet can fall. And today we commit him into your hand. We pray, O God, that you be gracious to his family and lift your, the light of your countenance upon them as they will have to let him go and continue to live their lives without you. Today we thank you for all that you have done. Bless all of us who are here and just lift the light of your countenance upon us. Bless us together as we continue to serve you on this side of eternity. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
wrong and see if I can get a few interviews from some folks. How are you? I'm doing good. What, what fun memories you have of Mr. Dick? Well, I have a lot of memories about Mr. Dick. We were always good friends, working together. We have been working together for years. I've always been there with him when, you know, if you have an electrical problem, a problem problem, you call me. You know, we have been good friends for a while. I'm going to miss him. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Webb, how were you? I'm very fine. Mr. Clancy was a very popular man in Calibishi. What can you tell us? Mr. Clancy was a father to every young boy, young girl in the village, and he will be missed by many because he was a good man. I'm not just saying he was a good man for saying he was a nice boy, he was a good man. Thank you very sense. much, thank you. Hi Lyndon, how are you? You live on MO. Hi. What can you tell us about Mr. Clancy? Oh, he was a very friendly man. I always want to know how you're doing, if you're okay. Yeah. He was a community man. So how are you? What's your name? Prince. What can you tell us about Clancy? I know he's gone, but... No, he, he has a man full of energy, and he was a friendly guy. And one thing he'll ask if you're okay. If you're okay. okay. <laughs> and he had a little nickname for his fellow, Sky Chief. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a cool guy, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. I try to... Mr. Bus Driver, how are you? All right, you live on MO? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Clancy is gone. What fun memories you have of him? Well, a long time ago, I time we were checking one another, you know, uh, talking to one another. And we just there. Uh, You're going to miss him, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Little, little talking and speaking All right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. How are you? I'm fine. What's your you. name? Catherine Norman. What can you tell us about Mr. Dick? 
Well, I, I was privileged to be the one who dressed his wife for their wedding. Wow! And I am privileged to have prepared some roots for his funeral. Clancy and Justine and Dilma, they took me into their family as though I was a sister. So I've been with the family and I hope to keep up with them. That's right. Thank you. My partner, they want to so they are going to prepare the material for the casting, so I'm going to walk around there with me. So how are you? I'm good. You live on MO? Yeah. What fond memories you have of Mr. Clancy? Oh, he's my brother. Oh, he's your brother, except my sympathy. Okay. What are you going to miss about him? Well, I mean... I'm so many to my on the TV and see him. Because I lose another brother who buried yesterday. Oh, oh yeah, you, your other brother buried yesterday? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, America. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Yeah, so many things, huh? Just keep the I'm faith. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Get thank you. <laughs> How are you? You live on MO News. You, I know you are a builder and Clancy was also a builder. What can you tell us about him? What are you going to miss about him? Um, his words of encouragement and wisdom. Thank you very much. So, how are you? Can you can see very well? Yes. What can you tell us that you love about him? He can be shibber and eat him. He's very nice there. What he did? He's very nice there with the youth. He can be shibber. Yeah. So I work for him, but he was a good partner. He was a good partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Francis Warrington. Warrington. Francis Warrington. What are you going to remember most about Mr. Well, Clancy? Mr. Clancy, I saw kind of the garden for him and his house. I saw him in the building. He was a nice friend to me. He was a nice I man to him. you. I know his family is going to miss him. Thank you so much. How are you, sir? I'm good. You live on MO. What fun memories you have of Mr. Clancy? Well, lately um, he would usually come by the bakery and um, as old dreamers, he would stay and listen to me. And then when he finished, he would go home. On Friday night, he then I would tell you, don't go to on Sunday. On Sunday. He didn't make it. Wow. But we, we then go we together and different committees and stuff. But, uh, Thank you. Yes, yes.
And of course, in my capacity as the funeral director, once again expressed our sincerest condolences to you, the grieving family's friends and well wishers. And also to extend our gratitude, our thanks, and of course, our appreciation to you for choosing the best funeral home on island. The worst, put your loved one to rest, of course, with respect, with love, with pride, and dignity. May the good Lord bless this great family to touch you from your crown of your head to the sole of your feet. And for those of us traveling back home, traveling mercies. We want to thank the pastor for an excellent service. We want to thank the Paul Bearers. We want to thank the choir. We want to thank MO News in a very special way for reaching out to the many persons who would love to be here with us today, but because of certain circumstances beyond their control, it's not possible. We want to thank the many persons who built that beautiful tomb. And we want to thank all of you for giving that great family the support that they require. Thank you so very much. Get home safe and God bless. So there we have it, the funeral of Mr. Clancy Sylvester Dick. I want to thank you for joining MO News. Thank you for being here as a source of support for the family of Mr. Dick. Before you leave, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have yourselves a good week. <laughs> Family picture. Thank <laughs> you.